I did a little story yesterday about a frivolous lawsuit about a woman who slipped on puke in a Bass Pro Shop and she was unable to enjoy life to its fullest afterward. <laughs> Here's another lawsuit that I found quite strange. More strange, in fact. A couple suing the state of Texas over the definition of pickles. Who gives a shit what the definition of pickles is? That was my concern immediately when I read the headline, but some people have boring lives and they, they concentrate on the most minute things, like the definition of pickles for some reason. It's like, get a life! You know, there's a life out there to be gotten if you could just get out there. <laughs> Let's get into the story. This has got to be strange. It's probably stranger than I can suppose. Texas. A couple is suing the state of Texas to change how the word pickle is defined. I didn't know it was a big debate. I thought it was pretty clear what a goddamn pickle is. Never in my life have I looked at a pickle and been like, am I sure that's a pickle? Shouldn't it? Am I sure it's not something else? Maybe that's just a cucumber in disguise? <laughs> Right now, the state law allows people to sell pickled cucumbers at farmer's markets with very little regulation. Ooh, the crazy underground pickle market in Texas. Watch out for that. However, there are tougher regulations when it comes to any other pickled product. Ooh, I see. So in other words, you can't pickle beets. You can't pickle anything except for cucumbers, says Anita McHaney. And she's up in arms about it. I want to pickle other shit, she says. I want to chop off my boyfriend's penis and pickle that. <laughs> Anita and James McHaney are taking a stand after finding out the Texas Health Department decided pickles are just cucumbers and nothing else. Well, now I see that they have an argument here, because as far as I'm concerned, pickles, all sorts of things can be pickled. I enjoy um, not pickled beets so much, but pickled cauliflowers, pretty damn good. What did I have? I like pickled carrots are okay. Um, I've had some good pickled shit in my, not shit. I wouldn't eat pickled shit, what are you crazy? I mean, I'm weird, but I'm not that weird. That would be a weird story. Uh, yeah, I've had some good pickled stuff, uh, and I don't think that it should just be limited to cucumbers. So I agree with the McHaney's. Change the definition of pickle in Texas and everywhere else. There are all sorts of pickled items out there. Pickled onions, not bad. So they plan to use their excess food they grow in their farm to pickle different vegetables to try to make a living. But the new cottage food law doesn't allow them to do this. Because it only says cucumbers are pickles, goddammit. Well, why don't you just pickle whatever and sell it anyways? Who cares? You know what I'm saying? Like, are they, are they coming by your little farm stand and throwing you in jail because you're selling pickled beets? Is that what's happening? They have an arbitration, they have an, they have an arbitrary definition that is preventing you from making a living on your farm, Anita says. They say, a pickle is a cucumber preserved in vinegar, brine, or similar situation and excludes all other pickled vegetables. We spend quite a bit of time writing to and communicating with a variety of people, the legislators around the state, about how did this come to be how can we get this resolved? How can we have something more than, pick, uh, more than cucumbers in the definition of pickles? They got no answer, and so they're suing the state. Well, good for you. Friggin' sue the state. Um, and I apologize up front at the top of the story. I claimed that these people needed to get a life. They obviously have a life. They have a life of pickling, and they need... <laughs> so obviously the definition of pickles is part of their well-being and their, their, their joy. So in this, in this great country, the pursuit of happiness is your inalienable right and so if you want to pickle other shit, I say, by golly, you should be able to pickle things. And not shit. I keep saying pickle shit, and that sounds terrible. You shouldn't pickle shit if you want to pickle other things, is what I, keep, it was I, what I should say. Hell, man, pickle a Snickers if you want. I'm, I'm, you know what I mean? They're frying them. Why not pickle them? See what happens. <laughs> the McHaney's say the Texas Health Department changed the definition of a pickle after the state legislature approved the law to where all vegetables could be pickled. Does the health department get to change what the legislator thought they did? Can they come behind the legislator after the legislator goes on for years and change it, they ask? And this is what they hope gets answered in court. Okay, so apparently the state has a definition, but the local law is different. I think something, I don't know, I'm a little confused, but I guess the bottom line is there are some people out there that um, think that, hey, you know what? You sh and, I, and I agree. The, the state has a lot of power. The federal government has a lot of power. Too much power, in fact. And you know what? They can't tell me, the state can't tell me what, what a pickle is and what a pickle isn't. If I want to pickle a piece of corn or whatever the hell it is, or, uh, you know, Brussels sprouts, I'll pickle them, by golly. <laughs> I'd do it. And they can't tell me that I can't call that a pickle at the end of the day either. So good, go, get them. I hope you do it. And, uh, well, I guess I got nothing.